Hello everyone, I'm looking a little bit better than what I did in my moving vlogs, aren't I? It has been a week since I last vlogged when I picked up, when I, when I went to collect my wedding dress and it wasn't ready. So today I've come up to London with my sister Hi. and I've collected my wedding dress. I tried it on for one last time before the big day and we have it with us. It feels real now, it feels so exciting, but like, yeah, just sit, trying it on with the shoes now that I've got as well. It just feels so, so good to finally have that done. We are just on our way to the Monica Vinida store. I've been invited along to one of their bridal appointments. They reached out to me and saw that I was getting married. So we're going along and I looked online to see what it entails and if you book an online bridal appointment which I'll link to in the description below you get 15% off you get a dedicated Monica Vinita stylist to kind of help you pick your items for your day you get same day engraving so things can be personalized I've actually chosen some friendship bracelets for all of my bridesmaids and then I've engraved something on the back already um, just because the ones that I've chosen wasn't available in this store that I'm going to um, so I will link to that below if any of you are also interested but it's a chance for you to kind of make a little day of it with your bridesmaids maybe I know mine out here today it was super last minute um, but yeah, a really nice thing to come along and do, pick out some gifts for your bridesmaids, get them engraved, maybe with your wedding date or like if you have a group name, which is what I've done. Um, just a nice little thoughtful idea, you get complimentary drinks as well. And obviously the big thing, which I think is amazing, you get 15% off your order. So we've just popped into Zara, but now we're going to go and head into the Monica Vinita store. So the lovely girls have selected me some of the pearl collection because that was what I said that I specifically liked the most and this, I've had my eye on this one for so long online um, and they also have the matching bracelet as well. So I have made my selections, I have gone for this one which has been out of stock for such a long time and it's got a really beautiful kind of brushed gold finish almost like antique -y. I love that and then I've gone for the matching bracelet but they don't have my size so I need a small and then this is ordered online as well um, but then to add on to the bracelet I've gone for this gorgeous little kind of teardrop and it's like dented um, gold I'm gonna get Adam to write I love you on a piece of paper and then they're gonna engrave that onto this and I'll add that onto the bracelet. I thought that was such a nice touch. Um, so you can add a doodle or you can add an engraving um, complimentary, it's no extra charge and they do it there and then. Um, but I thought how lovely, like if you had a kid's, kid's name or like you had someone who had passed away and you wanted something that they wrote to you engraved on something, I thought it was a nice touch. And I really like that it's his. Ha it's going to be his handwriting on what the jewellery I wear on my wedding day. Um, I did try and go for Miss Whitworth, or no, just Whitworth, um, which is going to be my marriage name, but it didn't fit on. So I thought the doodle was a really nice touch to still kind of have something personal on something I'm wearing on my wedding day. And then I can also pass that on to Pollyanna. We have just come to the Ivy in Chelsea Garden, the Ivy Chelsea Garden. It's one of my favourite places to come. I don't think I've ever come here before without Adam. It's always like our date night place to go when we come to London. I just love it. But it's the first time ever that I've sat outside and their garden is absolutely stunning. Stunning? Stunning. It's like a very like rainforest and trees everywhere. It's a beautiful water fountain which I don't know if you can hear but it's like trickling away. It's very tran tranquil, that's the word, like really tranquil. Um, so I'm probably going to have my dinner here because it's, well, it's lunchtime but I fancy something quite big like a steak and chips I think. Hello everyone. Today is one of the biggest days of my life, technically. We are legally off to get married at the registry office. So the venue that we chose in Ibiza, you can't legally get married there. Although like you have a celebrant and things, um, there are some parts of the island you can legally get married at, but you both have to be Catholics or there's like, there's like legalities, legalities of it. Um, Pollyanna just burnt, didn't she? Um, so yeah, so the venue that we obviously fell in 
up with, you can't. So it didn't bother me at all, which I thought it would, but it, it doesn't. So we obviously go off to Ibiza in a few days. And then, um, yeah, we go off to Ibiza in a few days and then we'll have our wedding with all of our family there. So it's actually quite nice because the people that can't make it to Ibiza are coming along to the registry office just the immediate family because it's um, a small room I think you could only have a maximum of eight people um, so yeah so it's quite nice that it's worked out like that so it's been pouring down with rain all day today we got the rings yeah got the rings it's so weird I'm gonna be wearing two rings after today though I am gonna take it off and save it for Ibiza because I don't want it to get all dirty I actually need to get my engagement ring cleaned before we go to Ibiza some people actually recommend not wearing it um, until the wedding day just to keep it nice and clean for photos and stuff um, but I think I'd feel really lost like not wearing my engagement ring to be a Mrs. Mrs. Whitworth the kids like are just oblivious they're not going to be there either just because it would be very boring for them and um in their heads the I the wedding is in ibiza it's like that in our heads as well really um we've been very laid back about it all and just just it's not really dawned on me until like five minutes ago that I'm excited but I'm nervous I think I think I'm more nervous than excited like I want to get the words right and I don't know, me and Adam are even gonna walk, we're gonna walk down the aisle together rather than like me walking down to him because obviously it's not like a traditional thing that we're doing. So yeah, be excited. I'll show you what I can from today. Just do the voiceover when it comes to the food because I have no idea. We have lamb cutlets. It's really Chassoui pork ribs. Chassoui pork ribs, these are amazing. We've got some um, carrots with like these caramelized onions on top. And then this is the pork, but oh, I can't wait to get into this. Got some lovely rice. We've got the chocolate volcano. I can't remember what this was. I've been really bad with remembering what um, it is. Caramel. And then, oh, salt is caramel. And this is a little congratulations, but I've already, I've taken off the sea. <laughs> but a little congratulations from the cave. We've just got home from dinner. And they've put some balloons, lots of petals on the bed, huh? Yeah, oh, it's all over the floor as well. <laughs> oh my God, it's all over the floor. There's loads. And then a note to say, congratulations on your wedding day. We hope you enjoy your stay. Good luck next week. Love, team. It's so sweet. They have been so accommodating. Good morning, everyone. I'm speaking to you today as a wife. <laughs> wrong hand but I'm a wife it is so it's still not sunk in um, so I didn't vlog much yesterday but um, we done the registry office and it was my brother my nephew and sister-in-law and um, it was just so 
it's small and intimate that I couldn't stop crying. <laughs> I was not expecting to cry. I really had not thought about the register office part. We weren't really making a big thing of it and it was just like, yeah, like Ibiza is going to be our wedding day. Like the day that we celebrate with all of our family and like the registry office was just the legalities, like the signing of forms and stuff. Um, but we was in that little room with so little, so few people. And then hearing those vows, hearing Adam saying his vows, I just, I couldn't stop crying. And like, when I say crying, I was like, I couldn't talk. I was like, <laughs> so sorry. And then um, it, when it comes to my turn to talk, I was like, my bottom lip was going. She, she, the lady had to give me tissues. And um, it was just so unexpected. Adam was like, these happy tears? <laughs> I was like, yeah. But you know like when you just, you, you see it on movies all the time. But then when you're in that moment, like saying these words to each other, like I couldn't look, and there was a moment where like, I didn't even, couldn't even look at Adam because every time I looked at him, I wanted to cry. So I was like trying to look at, like trying to like, stop myself from crying I was like looking up at the ceiling like it was just so unexpected I mean I am soppy I cry at movies and things like that but I just was not expecting to to cry yesterday I was not expecting it and now I'm so terrified in Ibiza because I feel like I'm gonna cry walking down the aisle like I, I just need to really get into like a mindset of don't cry, don't cry, don't ruin your makeup. I really need to like think like that. I think now I know what's in store for me. I need to be prepared. But um, it was such a lovely day. We then went back to Adam's mum and dad's where we just had some cake and champagne. Um, and it was literally just my mum, his mum, the witnesses, and it was just so lovely. And then, um, yeah, we were there for about an hour and then Adam booked a night stay at the Cave Hotel. He also booked dinner at the fire pit which is in the cave um, and yeah it's just been so lovely. It's like surrounded by a golf course and it's just really peaceful and tranquil and the food last night was really really good. Um, it was yeah it was in the fire pit and it was like sharing bits. Um, we, I think we had like six plates to share but we, uh, we were both like so full the food was just amazing um, the hotel's been really lovely as well they gave us champagne when we arrived because they saw that I was in my wedding dress and they were like oh special occasion and then um, when we got back to the hotel room um, they left like the heart balloons on the bed and then petals all over the bed and on the floor and yeah, it was just a really nice touch it's just been really nice now we've been down to the pool and we are now just going to head home back to the kids and it's actually my friend's birthday this evening so we've got a surprise party to go to um but yeah and then after that it is literally three days to Ibiza and it's time to get ready like i just so many emotions so so many emotions like I just can't imagine what I'm going to be like in Ibiza if, that, if that's how I was yesterday. Oh. <laughs> Let me just show you the grounds. So this is the golf course. We'd love to come back because Adam plays golf a lot. Um, he goes away with, like, with work as well and does golf trips and things. Um, and he's actually pretty good. And then this is like what the rooms look like. This is one of the superior rooms. And obviously, excuse the mess, but um, yeah, it's just very dark. It's, it is literally a cave. Um, so these were the balloons that they left, shower and bathroom and robes. But yeah, it's very, very dark. So like bring a compact mirror so you can get ready in the window. And then all the petals that they left on the floor. Huge big TV, which we have not even used. And yeah, it's just very lovely.